Welcome to our podcast. In today's episode, we unravel the mystery behind Deep Sea Dread, 500 km of echoing terror. A new study has shown that deep sea mining noise pollution will stretch hundreds of miles. The research, published in the peer reviewed journal Science, shows that noise pollution creates a cylinder of sound from the surface to the seabed. With cumulative impacts, likely in places where multiple mines operate, the study found that noise from one mine alone could travel approximately 500 kilometers in gentle weather conditions. During the research, scientists estimated the impact of noise on an area spanning 4.5 square kilometers between Mexico and Hawaii called the clarion Clipperton Zone, if mining companies are opened in the zone. The threshold set by the U.S. National Marine Fisheries Service will be exceeded in a radius of 4 to 6 kilometers of each mine, as per estimates of the research. According to Travis Washburn, co-author of the study, the deep sea houses potentially millions of species that have yet to be identified, and processes there allow life on Earth to exist. The research, funded by the Pew Charitable Trusts, examines the potential for underwater noise pollution from seabed mining operations. Scientists used noise levels from better studied industrial activities as mining companies are yet to share their data on underwater noise pollution. If our modeling is correct, it could require rethinking of environmental regulations, including the number of mining operations allowed within the clarion Clipperton zone, said Craig Smith co-author and professor emeritus of oceanography at the University of Hawaii. Our models suggest that nowhere in the whole 75,000 km square is free from noise impact, said Smith. It might require changing the regulations so that the control areas are further away. We have not been able to do the studies, but if mining operations went on simultaneously, it might have a big impact on a whole bunch of organisms. The effective protection of the marine environment is guaranteed through requirements for environmental baseline studies and environmental impact assessments and monitoring, as set out in exploration and future exploitation regulations, according to International Seabed Authority. Thank you for listening to our podcast. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.